This is the Life Ahead Podcast, brought to you by Apollo's Army, a couple of average dudes trying to do above average things. I want to get into maybe the tools. If, if you if you can share some, that'd be great. That maybe maybe some listeners can glean from. It sounds like you've hit some. You know, finding light, surrounding yourself with people who are going to encourage you. You know, giving back the music days you were giving back. Like you've hit on some you've hit on some things. But maybe if there's anything else specific you want to share with the listening ears. So I mean, there's some really simple things, and and I'm I'm totally unqualified to talk about. I I, I, I won't do this justice. But there there's just some. I mean simple things like breathing, taking a deep breath, um, realizing when the world is closing in on you, man, sit, sit back. And there's some great apps out there on the phone now that, you know, there's white noise and brown noise and different things that we know physiologically affect the, your brain and the way that it functions. I mean, you can Google relaxation stuff. And I mean, there's a ton of stuff out there. Mm. One other thing, and, th and this is a, this is a physical tool that's helped me more than anything. Mm. And this is a shameful, uh, this is a shameless plug. How's that? <laughs> yeah, just go um, for it. There's a, a company called Bytap. Um, it's super simple technology and it's something used by our local law enforcement. It's used in our school district. It's actually these little wristbands okay. that, and they got a buzzer on them. Uh, and there's an app that goes with them that, buzzes back and forth uh it's hmm. right left stimulation and it's basically what emdr is uh emdr and i can't remember now what it stands for but emdr basically is shifting the use of your brain from left to right hmm. uh and, it, and it's done by either tapping or it's done by you know eye stimulation somebody you know moving a finger a pencil back and forth or it's done with well, these wristbands you can set the intensity and you can set the speed if you speed them up, it makes your brain work faster. If you slow them down, it slows your brain down. And, and it really, you can kind of regulate your mood. Um, and it's something that's super helpful for me. Um, and my, one of my really good friends and somebody that I, you know, rely on for some therapy and tune up sometime is the inventor of Bitap. Uh, it's a company out of St. George. That's cool. So it's a local company, which, you know, I would, during, uh, during the Las Vegas shootings, you know, several years ago, there was, was it Route 93. I can't remember the number. It was Route 90. The, anyway. Was it 93? No. Uh, 93, 95. It was really bad. It was really, it was really bad. We had this mass shooting in Las Vegas. Um, we had a lot of people in our community here affected by that. In fact, we lost one of our citizens was, was killed in that attack. Um, and these folks, uh, Cindy Jones, um, Haley, I can't remember her partner's name. I grew up with Haley. Maiden name's Briggs. <laughs> anyway, I, I got COVID back in the day. It zapped my name database. Uh, I may not remember Brennan's name in 10 that's minutes. Crazy. So it's weird. That's weird, but that's, it, that's a whole other story. But anyway, uh, but no, these guys have this technology that literally you just strap it on your wrist and you hit a button and then you can regulate it on an app on your phone to how fast or how intense. Um, and it's worked miracles for tons of people. Um, uh, it, it's kind of come to the forefront again after uh, the murders that we experienced in Enoch, mm -hmm. yep. you know, the, the first of the year. I mean, I, I was a first responder on that case as well. That wow. became, I mean, there's, there's only a handful of us at Enoch PD. It, it became all of our case, but you know, I spent, I spent 13, 14 hours in that house that night doing my thing. Uh, and dual, dual purpose, right? Cause where you, you were doing ME stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do uh, Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I, I was there dual purpose that night, but I, you know, I mean, I, I examined everybody. I, I saw every piece of evidence and, and, and to have, that technology and, and the, the knowledge that I have coming out the backside of that, I mean, that, that I'm going to say that events caused more of a mental health crisis in our community than anything else that, that's still ongoing and will be ongoing for years. But uh, the powers that be knew enough to address that both with the first responders and with the community at large and brought therapists in, uh, brought the, the technology in to help that 
another thing that's so important that a lot of people don't know, you think, oh, I'm going to go to therapy. You know, I'll go talk to a therapist. That's great. We have a ton of marriage and family therapists and other sorts of therapists that are not qualified to deal with acute trauma. Acute trauma is a, is a super specialized part of mental health therapy. You know, we've got a handful of therapists in Southern Utah that are actually qualified to deal with something that traumatic on that level. So it's really important to find a truly, you know, trauma-based therapy because they can work miracles. And we know now, so when, when I got PTSD, from the time that I, that I, from the time of my incident, to the time of my th first therapy session was like four or five months. Mm -hmm. and, and the therapist, my, my, my first therapist gave me this analogy. He said, this is how the human brain works. You know, you got your fight and flight, you got your, you, you know, your amygdala. It's complicated, but it can be super simple. So say you're a deer and you're a deer in the forest, you're eating some grass, everything's good. Mountain lion comes out of the bushes and you're like, oh crap, mountain lion. And so you run and run and run and run, fight or flight, right? Well, you get away and then the mountain lion's not there. The threat's no longer there. And you're like, oh, grass. And, and the deer just goes back to eating grass. <laughs> yeah. Humans are a little more complex than that. So he said, this is what happens. You've got a trauma. Picture an old time fountain pen. You know, draw out, you can squirt the ink out of the pen. You got the human brain and you got this fountain pen. Well, the fountain pen <laughs> squirts with ink blot onto your brain. Well, if you get a paper towel, and you blot that up really quick, it's going to affect a lot less of your brain. But the longer it sits there, it seeps into all of those cracks and crevices in your brain, and it's tougher to weed out. And so when I sat there for months, my brain became saturated. If we can get somebody within 36 to 48 hours into a, a specialized trauma therapist, and we can, we can wipe that ink blot off in a couple of visits. That's amazing. And, and that's not what happened to me. I, I had worst case scenario, but now we know better. So we can get people the help they need right away to prevent the PTSD and prevent what I've gone through for however many years, since 2007, I, I can, we, we can prevent that now. And then we didn't know how to prevent it. And we do now. So break, there's no excuse. <laughs> yeah, we've made we huge gotta strides. Get that, we've got to get that word out. That's super important that people understand that not, not only is there help, but you got to get the right kind of help in the right sequence, you know, quickly. Anyway, no, off my soapbox. Is, now. That, that's, no, that's jump, that's, I'm that's, just jumping the, off the soapbox. This is the platform yeah. for that soapbox. <laughs> and I, I like it with, with the buy tabs. Cause I've, you know, I've worn them before, but when I was, when I've gone and talked a little bit with someone about that, um, it's, it's that like binaural stimulation, right? Yeah. There's something between moving left and right that just tells your brain, okay, we're going to, we're going to level out. Yeah. And that's why they say like running yep. and, you know, lifting weights, guitar playing, uh, or, or any instrument, you know, any drumming, instrument anything that, that you're, hands. when you're working those sides of your brain, yep. I think that's why it, it can be so therapeutic, even video games yep. for some people, you know, when you're working both joysticks or whatever, it's, it's amazing what those things can do. I think the, the big issue is that when you have trauma or you have PTSD, you don't feel like doing the things that right. bring you joy. And that's, yep. that's where it comes important to go see someone who's like, you're going to put these on and we're going to work through it yes. because you say you're going to do these things. Then you don't, you haven't gone to the gym for six months. Right. You haven't, you know, no, and, that, and that's the perfect, that, that that's exactly right. Is you don't feel like doing the things that bring, nothing brings you joy anymore. Mm. Nothing. Your kids don't bring you joy. Your family doesn't bring you joy. Uh, going to the gym doesn't bring you joy. I, I don't, it, it's the closest thing to being dead in, in my mind. I mean, literally, you know, people are like, I'm dead inside. You're dead inside. Yeah. Wow. And it's, who knew? I mean, I would never. I'm the guy, I, I'm the guy that kind of scoffed at mental health a little bit. Like if, you know, if, 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 if you can't handle it, maybe you're just weak. And then all of a sudden it was me that I'm like, Oh wow. hell, you know? <laughs> I mean, what, what is this? <laughs> because my idea, wow. you know, I deal with a, you know, a, a tragic death or something. We'd go get pancakes afterwards, kind of a tradition. Oh, we had a dead guy. Let's we better go get some pancakes and talk it over and it'll be better. And, and that's helpful. That, that not that that's not helpful. It's, it's very helpful. I can talk to Brandon about things that I can't talk to you about because, because sure. we've, 
seen it and smelled it together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, but there, I mean, there's certain things that people who haven't seen it and haven't touched it and haven't had all five senses involved in it that will never, you, you just can't, and not that, not that it's not helpful. You can be empathetic or, or sympathetic, but it, you, unless you've smelled it and touched it and tasted it, it, it's, it's kind of an incomplete conversation. Well, it's kind of like we were talking about with, with music and having that heart to it. You know, you, you might hear what we're saying and have everything on the surface, but when right. you're, you just don't know. No, you're missing it. You're but, not going to get it. And I want to segue into your new song.